Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're talking about 1Password, which is now available for Linux. So 1Password is a bit like LastPass if you've ever used that as a password manager, but 1Password um, has a variety of different applications available for you to access your passwords, whether that be web browser plugins, or it could be in the form of an app that you install on your system, whether it be on your Mac or your Windows machine. Well, they have recently released a uh, version for Linux. So I received an email about this the other day and it kind of prompted me, let's just have a little look at 1Password. I have uh, previously looked at 1Password before I made the move to uh, LastPass, but um, I was probably uh, in between moving with 1Password uh, or LastPass, but I ended up deciding to go with LastPass just because I was already using that on a trial basis and um, at the time, it wasn't owned by LogMeIn, but now now it is. Um, so uh, perhaps at some point I might move, but for the moment it, it's a bit difficult moving password managers if you don't have the time to do it. Um, I could probably get it done, but there's no real incentive for me to move just yet. So anyway, one password for Linux beta is now available. So if we jump on over to uh, the site here, we can see that there was a blog entry just a couple of days ago on the 21st of October. And you can see here it's running in the Ubuntu desktop. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So I've got the guide up here, which is available on the support website of uh, 1Password there. So I'm running a Debian based distribution here. So I'm just going to copy this one in here. Okay, so I'm going to paste that uh, first command and then this will add in the apt key for that repository. And let's uh, add in the source for it as well. So that's the source list. And pretty much now I just need to do a install of one password. So here we go. Just running that one now. Okay, it will be using uh, live app indicator. That's fine. New packages to be installed, one password. And that sounds all right. There's quite a fair bit of resources it requires there, 217 meg. So while that's running through, I might just set myself up a bit of a trial account here with one password. That's running along quite quickly. All right, that one is done. All right, so I'm just going to sign up for a bit of a trial. All right, so I've got my account created there. And if we have a look here, we can see that it's uh, being... Uh, uh, put forward as a true Linux application. So it works uh, using the Rust framework and it, uh, which secures systems programming language that has made a lot of waves in the Linux community. So if we uh, have a look down here, uh, this new foundation to bring you the one password experience you know and love to Linux and extend it further. So they've got quick find, intelligent search suggestions. You can kind of see this here in the um, preview of the application here. You can export your data, unlock screen shows, uh, all your accounts and supports using different passwords. Watchtower provides suggestions on how to improve your security score. So all pretty standard features of what you'd expect in a password manager. Um, what else do we have? So simple and secure installs using apt and DNF package managers. So that's true. We just added those sources there for it. Um, we've got open network locations. Okay, so you can add those to your passwords within the one password manager as well. Automatic dark mode. Okay, so that'll be interesting to see whether it will uh, be intuitive enough to work out whether you've got your dark mode set on your distribution of Linux and whether it will jump or switch to that automatically. Now, the other interesting thing that they've done here is they've got it open for beta users, but it's open to beta users who are a part of a development community, an open source project specifically. So if we have a look here, free accounts for open source teams. So uh, the new app is built on the great open source projects like Rust programming language for the logic. So with this in mind, that's why they're offering it to open source programming teams um, that are working on projects. Simply to be a part of that program, all they're saying is that you need um, to put in a pull request for the one password for your open source project repo, and they will give you and everybody on your team a free account. Not a bad deal if you're in an open source project. I myself am not in one. 
All right, so apt git install one password. That is what we've just ran. So let's see if we can open it up. All right, there it is. All right, so that one opened on the other window here. So we'll just uh, bring it up for you. All right, so I might just enter in my, um, uh, okay, let's just visit one password. We will log in. I'm not signing anywhere else. This is a new account. Remember, it might be different if you've already got an account set up. Okay, so I've got all the details that I need there now. I can open one password and looks like it's automatically uh, determined that I do have the application installed. So that is good. So let's enter in the account details. Put this in, put that as well. Put in the key and I will put in my password. Now again, I will blur this out. All right, so that's signing in. This should sign in, and that's open on a different window. Let's pull it back over. All right, so we are signed in and good to go. Currently, there's no items in my password vault. That is fine. There is a security key there. Um, if I needed to access that, or I could, in fact, probably also uh, change it as well. Um, all right, so I'm pretty new to this whole one password. So let's just uh, see if I can work out how we can get this going. So we've got new item. Okay, so that's not there yet. Uh, it is very new then, isn't it? Um, can we link to an item? Personal vault. No, no new item. Okay, um, what about logins? Can't create a new item there either. Secure note, no. Identities, no. Okay, so for the moment, this looks like it's a very bare bones application so far for Linux. Um, that doesn't have much functionality yet. I um, do like how it has this kind of tag feature here. This one looks like it could be quite useful for organizing your passwords. Um, I know uh, LastPass tends to use folders for their password system, and um, uh, my folders, I must admit, are quite out of hand. So I would be... Um, Wondering if tags would actually work better if, say, it was in uh, what last pass. Um, so, yeah, it looks like that's pretty much all I can do here on one password for you, at least through this Linux application. But by the sounds of it, it looks like there will be new features coming as more users get on board and start testing it. So if you're a one password user, I would suggest to you download this application, start giving this feedback to one password and how the application is working. Because the more users that are on there, the more support they will have for it within your Linux operating system. And the more that perhaps say the Linux community might look to be using one password for their Linux devices and for your their password management in general. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope this has been uh, interesting to you. If it has been, please like it, give it the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell if you would like to receive notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.